Hi there, Laurel Beard here today. Welcome to another Simply Card Making video with me. Uh, today I'm going to be making this card. You see all that texture in the background? That was actually made with the Ken Oliver Color Burst and salt. Salt. You heard me right, right out of my kitchen. I know. Um, I've used, I've created a lot of cards and made some videos with these color bursts and I saw out there that people were using uh, different things, different avenues with their color bursts and salt was one of them so I just had to give it a try for myself. The two colors I'm going to be using today are the violet and the lemon yellow, the purple and the yellow and I also have a giveaway over on my blog for the lemon yellow and the violet because I had extras of those two colors so be sure to head on over to my blog at laurelbeard.org to enter the giveaway for these guys. I love these. These are very concentrated, heavy, pigmented uh, powders. I've actually dubbed them the powders with power. Even Ken has picked up on that and have started saying that sometimes too because they're so powerful. A little goes a long way. And that purple color is so intense. It almost scares me to use it sometimes because it's such an intense color, but it's so fun. Now I'm working out of a shoe box because these are messy. So to contain the mess, I advise you working out of a shoebox or something like that. So I've got some watercolor cardstock in there and I've already gone ahead and spritzed the watercolor or the cardstock with the water. Um, you can do it the other way too, apply the powder and then add the water. Um, it's just really whatever you want to do. So I went ahead and uh, kind of squeezed out some of that yellow and I'm blending it out a little bit more with some water and I'm trying to to very lightly go in with the purple but you see a little bit dropped off the top and look it did all that by itself because of the water. I, that's, I didn't even like add any yet. A little just dribbled out of the top and look what I got from there. That's just fascinating. So I'm trying to go out and add just little tiny bits from high above to create um, some, some color. And I'm, I'm loving watching it blend. You can actually see, I'm going to lift this up. You can see the colors of the rainbow in there. I can see the purple and the blue. It's just so neat to watch this stuff. But you can see how incredibly pigmented that purple is. It's just, it's just fantastic lots of color. So I'm going to go in and just kind of play around here and I'm going in adding water. I'm kind of moving the box around to get some of the water and the color moving around and for a few minutes, I'm not going to lie, I got a little worried and I thought about just scrapping this whole thing and deleting this video and throwing this away because I was worried it was starting to look muddy when the purple and the yellow met. So I went in to add a little bit more purple. Um, you can see it's squeezing out. And I'm going to go in and add some more water, and then I thought I flushed out all of the yellow. So I was going in and adding more yellow. This is all about trial and error uh, with these color bursts or with any water coloring for that matter, so don't scrap it. And when it die, dries, it does dry a little less intense than what it looks like right now. Because right here at this point, I was like, oh crap, all my yellow is gone, and it looks like I have a big blob of purple. So I was really kind of panicking here. So I'm going in, trying to add more water to kind of flush some of that purple out of there. Um, so I just continue to mess around with this, and I was freaking out. I really was. I'm not going to lie. But I'm glad I didn't scrap it because I think it really turned out quite pretty. So I'm going to continue to go in. I'm going to continue to add water. I'm not going to add any more of the color burst, but I'm going to go in and add water and just move that box around and just get that water and that color moving around. And then I just let it, leave it alone and let it dry. That's, that's the key to this stuff. So I went in and added a bunch of water here. I got some of that yellow back. It's just so pretty and it's so much fun to play with these things. And now you can see why I worked out of a box because it's messy. So here's my table salt. I'm just taking some of that table salt. This is kosher salt. Any salt you have will work. And I'm just putting a whole bunch on there. And I have never done this before. I'm doing this live on video for the first time. I had no idea how this was going to turn out. I didn't know how long it was going to take for it to dry. I didn't know if the, t if the salt was going to wipe off the card. I didn't know what was going to happen here. So at that point, I just went away. I left it alone. I went and did something else. So now I've, I'm getting there and I'm trying to flick off that salt. I didn't know what to do, so I'm, I'm beating it with the back of a paintbrush. <laughs> and I'm trying to get all that salt out. It's 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 coming out. You can't see it in the video, but it's it's coming out. It's fairly easy to get off. I just found that beating the back of my cardstock with the, the uh, tip of the paintbrush was the way to go. And then I am just kind of brushing some of that excess salt away. You can already see that the purple is not as strong as it was uh, from the pre previous frame before it dried. So I like how this turned out. I like the little bits of yellow. I like all the purple. I'm glad I didn't throw it away, but I was freaking out for a while there. 
I'm not lying, I'm sure you were too. So I've got all that sawed off and look at that, look at all that texture that leaves behind. I think that is so stinking cool. Salt, who would have thought? So think about other things that you could add to this to create these fun textures. And let me know what y'all come up with. I'd love to give it a try. So now this is completely dry and I'm ready to kind of pull a card together here. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down. It's gonna end up being uh, three, 0.75 by 5 is what I'm going to end up doing. So I'm kind of trimming off the edges there that have that really in, intense purple. Then I'm going to go in and kind of trim off. So I'm, I'm carefully picking the sides I want to trim off until I get to the, you know, the size that I want. I just think I love that like yellow. It's like a little glow. I just think this is cool. And this is not anything I could have probably made with my own watercolors. That's what I love about these color bursts. Um, they're very powerful and they're fun to use. They're messy, but they're fun. They're so fun and I love that salt on there. I just think that is so cool. I think there's that could be like a galaxy. I could have gone in with blue and created a little galaxy background or something. Uh, so now I need, I'm taking a regular size uh, card. This is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half and I, I wanted to create uh, just yellow, straight up yellow. So I'm kind of squ squeezing in some of that yellow and then I'm gonna add in some water here. Now I'm working out of that same shoe box, so some of that purple was not completely dry, so a little purple got on my panel here, but that's okay. Um, it didn't mess anything up, but I was too lazy to go get a fresh shoe box, and certainly was too lazy to wait for all that stuff in the shoe box to dry. So I'm just gonna take my heat gun and I'm drying it, and at the same time, I'm moving some of that water around. Um, and I just wanted yellow here because this is gonna be the base of my card for today, and I wanted to tie in more of that yellow. So I'm gonna go in with my heat tool here and I'm just giving it a good zap until it's completely dry. And then you can see how some of that purple got there on the bottom, but um, it didn't bother me. I think it's just a super cool look, but if you wanna keep it uh, uh, just the color you're using, then make sure you're working off of a clean surface because as soon as any water hits these powders, even if it's the teeniest, tiniest little bit of powder, it's gonna react. It's just plain and simple. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that panel we did with the salt, I'm gonna add a lot of adhesive to the back of it, and I'm gonna adhere that right down to my card panel there. And you can see how I tied in the yellow just perfectly. And see those little bits of purple on the edges? I think that looks cool. But I am in love with that salt panel. That's what I'm gonna call it, the salt panel. <laughs> I just think it's so cool. So at this point, I needed to turn it into a card and I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't want to cover up a lot of it. So this is a stamp set called Stacked. And I'll show it to you in just a second. I'm gonna ink it up, there are a bunch of teacups. I'm gonna ink it up with some Versamark ink because there's a lot of open spaces in this stamp. That's why I chose this because again, I didn't want to hide a lot of that background. I think that background is so cool. So I'm gonna ink that up with some Versamark ink. I applied good pressure and I'm gonna sprinkle on some white embossing powder right there over the top of all of that. And then I'm gonna heat set it. If you have any embossing powder sticking where you don't want it, just grab a dry paintbrush, Q-tip, whatever you've got and kind of wipe it away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this. Again, I chose this particular stamp because there's a lot of um, outlines. You can see through it. It's not a solid image, so it's not gonna cover up a lot of that background, especially where that yellow is peeking through, where a lot of that texture from that salt is showing. I really wanted to make sure that that uh, stayed evident in the card here. So I'm just zapping this with my heat tool here. I think that was super fine white embossing powder, by the way. And here's the stamp set. It's by Catherine Scanlon Designs, and it's called Stacked. And it's fantastic. And then I went ahead and adhered that to a white card base. I let a little bit of that white show on the left-hand side for a border to tie into the white embossed teacups. And that's it. But here's a close-up. Look at that. Look at all that texture. Isn't that neat? Am I the only one that's super excited about this? Probably. But I just think it's so cool. So here's a look at the finished card. Now remember, I've got a giveaway going on over on my blog right now for the yellow and the purple color burst. So be sure to go to laurelbeard.org and you can see how to uh, qualify for the giveaway. It's basically going to be just leaving me a comment. Pretty easy. <laughs> so you could win these babies. And see that little subscribe button down there at the bottom. If you haven't already, I would love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be just awesome. So thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time for another video.